we have seen expert systems we have also seen knowledge base and inference interface engine and how they work and the two logics which are used to work with the in, in the interface engine with the data in the knowledge base is forward chaining and backward chaining so these are basically the methods to build the algorithms in the forward way or the backward way so the forward chaining starts with the available data and uses inference rules to extract more data for example until a goal is reached so there may be certain rules which may be defined in the system and based on those rules certain facts will be derived and those facts will further derive certain rules and facts which will help to finally come at the goal so that's how the forward chaining method works the solution to a problem naturally starts with a collection of information so first you have a problem you will collect some information so that information will lead to the solution of problem and reasoning is applied to this information to obtain logical operations so you have information before designing a system you collect a certain information based on which you have written certain rules these rules are fed into the knowledge base as the knowledge of how the system will work and now you have used the forward chaining method to derive certain algorithms based on those rules how the system will operate so the forward chaining system is given one or more condition the system searches the rules in the knowledge base for each condition those rules that correspond to the condition if part are selected each rule can generate new condition from the conclusion of the invoked the added condition if any will be processed again so this is a simple way how a forward chaining system works so let's go into the more example and look into how forward chaining system works So facts are held in a working memory. So what is facts? So if you define certain rules and while those rules are being used or based on the inputs from the sensor, certain rules can get activated while the system can be activated based on a button, it can be activated based on a sensor input like if there is a fire alarm it could be based on a sensor input like there is a fire detection or there is a smoke detection based on that an alarm could be activated and based on the alarm activated the sprinkler could get on so all this has to work in a systematic way and for that to work in a systematic way there has to be certain facts and rules which has to be written in the working memory and the interface engine so the interface engine will have the algorithm and the logic and the rules will be written in the rule base or the knowledge base and the facts will be flown in the working memory so the rules could be example if the inflow is less than 0.7 average and storage is less than capacity divided by 2 irrigation release should be 0.6 into demand so whatever irrigation demand you have like the 0.6 into demand here this could be stored as a fact so next time whenever there is a request for a certain release of the demand of the water the previous demand suppose in a day only 0.10 into demand is to be released and the next time there is a release you could know that there is a 0.4 remaining into demand remaining and that can be released so certain condition based on that such kind of algorithms can be derived based on what is stored in the facts so a simple example of forward chaining based on a fire sprinkler working so the fire sprinkler working the rules can be written as if it is hot and smoky then you can conclude that there is a fire and if the you can conclude that it is smoky and if there is fire then it the system has to switch on sprinklers so whenever the sensor detects a fire or a smoke this the expert system or the artificial intelligence system could come into action and it could work and when it works what it could do is that it could store the facts like the alarm has been beeped it is given and when the alarm beeps it is hot so those two facts could be stored in the working memory and again based on this facts as the program will run in the system in the interface engine the system can use those facts to conclude that 
the F3 fact is that it is smoky from F1 that is there is alarm and if the alarm has beeped then it is smoky so based on these two F2 and R2 the program can conclude that it is smoky and based on F2, F4 and R1 it can conclude that there has been a fire and based on this the program can conclude that it has to now switch on the sprinkler so in this way you have written a program based on the rules which has been stored as knowledge in the rule base and based on while the rule is being worked on by the program certain facts are generated those facts will be stored as as on the program will work and the goal state that is switch on the sprinklers is reached once a sprinkler has been switched on now the, what will happen is that the fire has been extinguished and the system can be resetted again again the facts in the working memory will be erased so again when there is a fire the whole process will get started again so this is how a simple example of working of a expert system that based on a fire sprinkler can be demonstrated so other example is the use of backward chaining so we have seen what for forward chaining was we had a set of rules and based on those rules we have concluded or we have come at the goal so in the backward chaining while deriving or writing the program for the algorithm reasoning so you will so in the backward chaining what happens is that the reasoning is done in the backward direction the system selects a goal state and reasons in the backward direction so what is the uh, actions we have to do here is that we have to select a goal state and the rules whose then proportion has the goal state as a conclusion so establish sub goals to be satisfied for the goal state to be true establish initial condition necessary to satisfy all the sub goals check whether the given initial state matches with the established ones so in the backward chaining what happens is that whenever a fire alarm has to go on so it will start with that whether it is to be turned on the sprinkler or not and for the sprinkler to be turned on certain sub goals has to be true and so the sub goals should be like the alarm has to be the smoke has to be detected or it has to be hot or there has to be a fire so based on certain sub states the goal state can be executed so the reasoning will happen based on a goal so the first the goal will be defined and based on that goal certain sub states will be written in the program in such a way that if the sub states are true then the goal can be executed so here we will start with the goal state that is switch on the sprinklers and for the switch the sub states can be it could be hot and the alarm beeps which can be detected by the sensors so the facts which are derived here are that it is hot and the alarm has beeped so based on these two fact this could be based on the rules which has been satisfied that if it is hot and smoky then there is a fire and if the alarm beeps then it is smoky so the sensor has detected that it is hot and the sensor has also detected there is alarm and finally then the fire has to extinguish the fire the sprinkler has to be switched on but unlike the forward chaining while writing the program it will be written in the backward direction the program will start from the goal state that is switch on the sprinklers that is a goal state and it will consider the sub states which should be true that is it should be hot or the alarm should be beep so it is essentially moving from a goal state to the backward direction rather than moving in the forward direction as it was in the forward chaining so if the hypothesis is clear then the backward chaining is better and more goal driven so if your goal is very clear that you had to always designing the system to execute this kind of action then the backward chaining is more simple and it is more clear in this case the forward chaining may be better if you have less clear hypothesis and want to see what can be concluded from current situation so these are the basic differences for enable a person to choose between a forward chaining or a backward chaining for an artificial intelligence system. If you like this video, please do subscribe, like and comment. Also do watch other videos in this series to learn more.